Hey guys, Ivan here. So lately we got a couple of announcements of a couple of bodybuilders which shows they're actually doing and now we got something from Patrick Moore. So we have been seeing a lot of a lot of photos, a lot of videos uh, from Patrick and we've seen him train and now there is a video on Jay Cutler TV in the title of it. They are saying that he might be doing California Pro this year, 2021, as he won that show in 2019, qualifying for that Mr. Olympia where he took that 10th place. And after that, we haven't really seen a lot from Patrick. He competed a few times, but he never really brought that kind of conditioning, that kind of shape that he brought to the Mr. Olympia level. So I don't know what to expect from him right now. I watched the video, almost the whole thing, but I didn't really hear him announce this officially. I don't think he said he's gonna be doing California Pro, but he might, he might. So right now he looks good, like he grew, he looks big. I don't know how much actual tissue he added, but he really does look big, full and round. And in this video he talked to Jay Cutler and Jay Cutler gave him a tip. He said it's not always the best thing to look pretty in the offseason, you need to get a little ugly. What he was saying to Patrick is that basically he needs to eat more, he needs to eat a lot, he needs to gain some fat and he needs to be watery, he can't be shredded all year round and grow. And Patrick's attitude about this, I heard him talk about it a few times, is that he doesn't really believe in, in, in dirty bulking, heavy bulking, he thinks he needs to stay you know, lean enough and add a little bit of tissue to certain places on his body, on his physique, so he doesn't lose the shape, he just grows where he needs to grow. So I don't think he's gonna try and get really big, really bulky in the offseason, he's gonna try to stay fit, you know, in a way, he doesn't lose the waistline, he has a really small waistline and he wants to keep it that way, and he needs to grow, but not just by any cost, he wants to keep that great shape, it is signature of his, you know, he is known for having a great shape, for being aesthetic, for being very conditioned as well. So hopefully he will actually do that in, in that way. He won't uh, get his waist bigger, but he will add muscle to certain areas that will just make his physique look more impressive. And maybe that 10 spot, the Mr. Olympia 2019, won't be a highlight of his career. Do you guys remember Charles Griffin? I mean, there was a lot of talk about him in 2019. He did a few shows in 2019, I think he was the Mr. Olympia stage once, and uh, at least once, as far as I know, and right now in the offseason he grew, like, he looks like a freak right now, and <laughs> take a look at his comment with Sergio Oliva. So basically in this description, Charles says uh, he never really trained arms a lot, and now he's training them more than ever, he just wants to make them look super impressive. And Serge is basically telling him that they are impressive enough. He doesn't have to get them any bigger and he should stop because all the other competitors will look silly standing next to him because this guy is really thick, especially in the upstairs. Lower body, it's a different story. I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but let's admire these, these crazy big arms and crazy looking triceps that Charles has. I'm not sure which show he's gonna do next, but he does look really big, really thick right now. So this was him at the Chicago Pro, where he lost to Michael Lockett, who qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and Charles, I don't think he was able to qualify that year, but he was the Mr. Olympia before. So here you can see his upper body is just nasty, just ridiculous. I mean, he has the, the, the muscle bellies, I mean, he has the shape, he, ha he can get conditioned, he's really big, really thick, the back is also crazy, look at those traps, Jesus. But then the, the lower body, the legs, not so great, not so great. Here is an update, and he has been working on those legs, you can see that. But at this point, I don't think it's much of a problem with training or eating. He is growing these legs, I mean, they are getting bigger, and they're gonna get better, I'm sure. But will they ever be great? No, because of the, the, the genetics, I mean, the shape of those legs, the way the, the genetics are, the way the muscles are inserted. Those quadriceps are just not looking very good. And no matter how much he grows them, they'll never look great, not as much as his upper body does. So it will always be a weakness for him, but I think he grew them a little, I think he will make progress over time, and I don't know which show he's gonna do once again, but he looks great right now. And it's crazy that he has an ability to actually do a vacuum, and this is a good vacuum, I mean that ribcage is really, is really wide, and that's a deep vacuum, I mean you don't really see the abs from all the shadow that his huge ribcage is creating when he does the vacuum, so he can pull a vacuum. Being this big, I've been mean, packing so much mass on such a small frame. He's a short guy, he's a short fellow. And he looks 
really thick because he has so much muscle on that small frame and he is still able to pull a vacuum which is very important i talked about it before today it's very important to have a good controllable midsection not perfect abs that's not what we're looking for but the size is definitely number one thing but stomach needs to be controlled and he can do that now it's only gonna be the matter of legs can hard work surpass genetics can his training and his eating and his uh, gear use and everything overcome uh, this genetic flaw you can see the quads they're just not well shaped overall he's a really thick bodybuilder not the prettiest structure i have to admit uh, very very low inserted uh, lads that make him look a little bit blocky kind of like william bonek type of thing but he can get conditioned he's really massive he has crazy muscle bellies i mean overall and uh, instead of the legs of course the quads so I don't know if he can actually grow them, it seems like he grew them, based on that previous video that I showed you, but we'll see what's gonna happen when he steps on the stage next. Which show is it gonna be? Not sure right now, if you guys know, tell me down below in the comment section, but if I find out, I will announce it for sure. Alright, somebody who we know which show he's gonna do, this is of course Justin Rodriguez, who is doing New York Pro this year. He really tried to win a pro show last year, he was able to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, but based on points, this year this year he deserves a win i'm not sure which show he's actually gonna win but he deserves one for sure because he has been really consistent last year and he was able to bring really good level of conditioning he was able to get really ready last time it was really close but akim beat him because of size right now you can see his physique and he's getting better by the day now he is close with conditioning now with nick walker and the other guys he wasn't that close until recently but as you can see, this guy is, is a genetic marble, like he can get shredded so fast. And uh, I'm not sure with, with who he's actually working right now. Well, last time I thought he was working with that uh, AJ, I think uh, his name is Cement Factory uh, on Instagram. But somebody in the comments told me that he's actually now working with Abdullah from Kuwait Gym. So I'm not sure. If you guys know, let me know who he's actually trained by. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, this guy can bring the conditioning. He's big, he's wide as a house. And I think he finally has a chance to win a show, to win New York Pro, which is a pretty big show. Last year, I was really impressed with his conditioning, and especially with his back shots, such as this one. Uh, when he gets lean, really lean, it's gonna look so much better, guys. Just wait and see that. He has a really high quality of muscle. So we'll see what he's gonna do on that stage. Will he actually be able to beat guys like Hassan and Nick Walker? It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be a good show. A lot of anticipation is building up as the show is approaching, so we'll see what's gonna happen. At about 15 weeks out of Chicago Pro, we have Keon Pearson with an amazing physique update. And based on this one, I'm not sure if he's actually gonna do 212. I mean, why would he? He looks big, like, I don't know, he doesn't look much less thick than for example Hunter Labrada like he's really big right now he's huge I mean take a look at those arms and the lats and chest also grew he's just so thick I mean look at the forearms as well he's so round so yeah he's a shorter guy but I think he can do open and do very well I don't know if he can actually beat Hunter because Hunter is a 8th place Mr. Olympia finisher but still I mean he looks really impressive what do you guys think? How well would he do in the open? Should he do the open or 212? Is 212 too easy for him? Who else is doing to Chicago Pro 212? I don't think there are any other heavy hitters. So yeah, if he decides to do 212, he's gonna win a show and he's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And now we can actually see what he can do against the top 212 guys, which would also be very interesting. I'm a fan of 212 too. That, that's that's bodybuilding. I mean, come on, it's not it's not man's physique or whatever. It's bodybuilding. Just shorter guys are in there. So it would also be very interesting if he did that. But again, open is open, and I think he has a potential for the open. I'm pretty sure at least one day he's gonna move to the open, or maybe this year he does open as well. What do you think? How well would he do, and should he do the open or 212? And finally, we have a physique update of uh, Hafter Bjornsson, strongest man in the world. Here is him, he lost a lot of weight, I mean, he's still really big, but he lost a lot of weight, a lot of fat. I mean, look at the veins on his quads, and look at those abs. Those abs are actually looking pretty good, and the waistline shrink down quite a bit. So usually these strong men, I mean, when they train, when they're doing the competitions and everything, they are using a lot of core, a lot of stomach is involved in all those lifts. So their stomachs are usually big, but Thor 
somehow managed to actually slim down and actually make his waist look small and his stomach really flat and he actually seems to be having pretty decent genetics I mean for not really for bodybuilding for competitive bodybuilding but he has a good looking physique and by the time he's ready for that boxing match with Eddie Hall he's probably gonna trim down a little bit more and maybe he's gonna get really shredded and I would, I'm really curious to see what that's gonna look like but right now he does look very good very aesthetic for a strong man for somebody who used to weigh 200 kilos i mean yeah he looks great right now pretty fit pretty good looking physique what do you guys think considering that his legs are not looking very big maybe he could do well in man's physique <laughs> what do you think about Hafter bjornsson actually doing man's physique show <laughs> that would be very interesting and also what do you think about the rest of the stuff that I mentioned in this video? Whatever you guys have on your mind, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it, of course. And please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.